Whether you're streaming or just gaming, if you enjoy listening to your music through Spotify, having to alt tab out of game to change your music can not only be annoying, but it can also cost you the game or the round. G'day, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. In a previous video, I showed how to set up volume sliders to control your audio on a stream deck. One of the plugins we used was a plugin called Spotify Integration by Bar Raiders. It can be a little bit tricky to set up, so in today's short tutorial, I'm gonna show you everything you need to get it up and running so that you'll be able to play your music, skip track, volume up and down, and even select individual playlists. Let's get started. First things first, a little bit of housekeeping as usual. We're gonna create a folder. We're gonna give it a nice little icon. If you wanna get a Spotify icon, go and download an image off of Google, type in Spotify icon, and you should find something that looks similar to this. We're gonna open that folder. Now we're gonna click on our app icon at the top here. We're just gonna type Spotify. We're gonna click on install on this Spotify integration by Bar Raiders. And then you can close that window. You're going to scroll down to the bottom of your list and you should see Spotify by Bar Raiders. Now we're going to drag our first button, which is a play button. Now you're going to come up with this window telling you that it's not been activated yet. So click on the get started button. Click on this text here that says click here. Now we can go and click on open Spotify developer dashboard. It's going to ask you to log into your Spotify account. Mine's already logged in. We're going to click on this create app button at the top. We're going to give it an application name. So we're going to call this Spotify, app description, bar raters. Of course, you can call this absolutely anything you want. You can skip the website field on the redirect URL, copy and paste the local host with port 4202, and click I understand. Now click save. You've just created a app within Spotify developers. Now click on the settings button. You're gonna see this client ID. Don't share that with anyone. We can alt tab back to our Spotify integration, paste in that client ID. And we're gonna click on this view client secret, copy that once again, don't share that with anyone and paste that in. Click next, click on the agree button and you're successful. You can minimize that, you should say Spotify connected. If it hasn't done this, go back and check your settings. Make sure you've got that local host with the port number associated. We can close that down now and we can see that our play button works. We can go and put in a next song, previous song, volume up, volume down. You can set volumes if you want. So if, if you wanna be able to quickly go to 50% or 100% volume, you can do that. And the feature I love is this playlist start. Go and add that in and you can tell it which playlist you want out of your Spotify and it's gonna have absolutely every playlist that you've ever added into Spotify. You can quickly choose between themes of music at the press of a button. And that's as simple as it is. If you're new to the channel guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.